Hi, I'm Amy McCarter. Welcome to House Calls brought to you by CAMCO, where Kansas healthcare professionals deliver health insight. Today I'm speaking with Dr. Vance Lassie of Holton about migraines. Thanks for being here today. You're welcome. Always a pleasure. Now, what is the difference between a migraine and just a regular headache? Uh, I guess we all get headaches from time to time. Uh, migraines are, first of all, tend to be more severe headaches. Also, they're unique in that they have a couple of other uh, things. One's called a prodrome. So for a day or two before, sometimes people will be kind of cranky or kind of depressed or extra hungry or the opposite, not hungry at all. And then there's something that about one in four migraine uh, patients will get something called an aura, where they'll see like little lines or dots in their visual field or sometimes even hear like, staticky sounds that come on before or at the beginning of the, the headache. Are there triggers that people can avoid? Yeah, that's one of the most uh, important things of migraines is uh, because the treatments aren't always great. And so obviously the best way to, to treat something is to not get it in the first place. And people with migraines, a lot of times will have a trigger, something that uh, sets off their headache. And if, if a patient who has migraines can identify uh, his or her triggers and avoid them, then they can really cut down on how often they get these debilitating headaches. Uh, one is stress. Another one is hormones, especially in women. Uh, smoke and alcohol exposure uh, can increase migraines. Not eating enough, uh, sleeping, sleeping in or sleeping too much, not having a routine sleep schedule. Uh, exposure to bright lights, uh, noxious smells, um, pain in the neck or back sometimes can exacerbate migraines. And then certain foods can set off some people. How are they usually treated? Uh, we have uh, several medications uh, that we can use to treat them, and we also have medications we can use to help prevent them and people who get them very frequently. Okay. Good information. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Please join us next week for a new health topic discussion on house calls.